Hey kids, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce, where today we're doing another live build. It is this Ninjago set, set number 70721. I can start to say those things real fast now. I'm a fast talker. The intros kind of all get the same. Make sure to check out all our other videos. Check us out on Instagram, String Cheese and Applesauce. Bunch of cool pictures. You get to see all these things before the video even comes out. So it's a sneak peek, it's cool. So this is Kai Fighter. Set number 7021, 70721, like I said earlier. Age range is 8 to 14. They usually can they usually use a lot of technic pieces in these Ninjago sets, which really starts to bump up the age range. It, it's not a bad thing. It's it's a good thing. But that's that's the only reason why this, this kind of small set is a little bit higher age range. Now I'm really hoping that this set is a lot better than the last Ninjago set I built, which was the Cyber Overborg. It was over Borg attack. Um, check out my other videos if you want to see that one and see why I really didn't like it. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping this one's a little bit different, a little bit better. Um, it does come with two minifigures. You got Kai and then you've got the General, General Cryptor. You can see right there, it shows you two figures. So anyway, let's go ahead and bust this open. Tape is still on there. Cut it with my trusty blade there. Bump these out. And interesting on the box here, maybe someone that's a, a big Ninjago fan can maybe tell me what this, this number four means. So you've got three other little weapons that are grayed out, and you've got number four here. So is this a, a series of assorted weapons? I don't know. I'm not, not that big into the Ninjago cartoon or, or the Chima one, but I do like the sets. I think the, the sets are all great. So we've got a sticker sheet, which I'm not gonna, which I'm not gonna apply the stickers. So I typically put the sticker sheet in the back or somewhere in the middle of the instruction book. That way, whenever I store away my instructions, the stickers stay with it. If for some reason in the future, I decide I do wanna put stickers on it, I'll find it. So we've got a numbered bag one and a numbered bag in our box. There's only, um, what is it, 196 pieces in this set. So there's not going to be many pieces in each bag. So right there, there's there's all the big pieces. And of course, in the, the big bag, you've got the little bag. I'll dump the little pieces off to the side so they stay semi-sorted from the big pieces. And then we have our um, cyborg head piece, or the hair, in its own little individual bag. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. So this is just like the one in the, um, well, similar. It's, it, it's just like the cyborg attack where, I mean the over, why do I keep saying cyborg? The overborg attack where the headpiece was in its own little bag. This is a different headpiece, but still, it's in its own little bag. It's similar in the fact that it, it has this metallic print or mold on one side, and then the little red eye. But I'm assuming that these are um, printed and or molded in a completely different factory than all these others. So it, they have to be put in little individual bags and shipped to the, the packaging facilities. And the bag may keep them from being damaged. So that's, that's just a guess. All right, so let's build the first minifigure, which is Kai. K, am I saying it right? Is it K or Kai? K-A-I. I'm assuming it's K, Kai. I don't know. I should quit assuming. So this is, um, he's got his, his, uh, bandana, goes on the front. Let me zoom in before we get too far. Let me show you the, the torso. He's got this, this cool little fire print on this torso. You can see the belt that's tied around his waist. 
So he's kind of wearing this robe looking thing. And then on the back you can see the belt continuing around. And then it has this little flaming head print on the back. So a lot of cool detail. Single printed face. It's just an angry face on a yellow head. And the hair piece is cool. This is, um, you can see the kind of spiky, kind of bedhead looking hair. And what's cool about it is it's, um, let me take it off. You can see I can squeeze it. It's kind of the rubbery hair head, head pieces, kind of like what you see in the Lego Friend sets. I really like them. And this one actually stays on really well. It's got a lot of clutch power. It's not going anywhere. And he is equipped with this little flaming blade. So that's his weapon of choice. So the theme here is, is fire and red and flames and everything like that. So the cyborg is pretty cool. Let me show you this without the head for or without the hair piece. So you can see all the printing on the legs, the torso, and this shoulder kind of shoulder pads piece. It almost looks like football shoulder pads. And then on the back, you see the little ninja star through there, and then some cyborg printing. He has a silver arm and a black arm. Both of the hands are black. And then he has a, it's a single printed face, but there is mech printing on the back. And then we top it off with this cool little headpiece. So you can see the eye through the little eye opening right there. And then he's got this mechanical red eye there. And then this back piece, you can see the little, that little circular piece. Actually what that is, is it's the um, little holder for the swords. Slide each one in there. Just like that. And that is the completed figure. Well, almost complete. He does have another weapon that he holds on to. And it's this big piston piece that you've seen in Lego City sets. Look at that. <laughs> that gun is about one and a half times his height and he's gonna hold it up like that and shoot someone it's like a sniper rifle massive so there we go those are our two figures one with this um, extremely large gun versus some sort of flame blade so One has some insecurities, the other one is good to go. All right, so let's start building the, uh, the main attraction, which is the Kai's Fighter. So clearly, since there's another bag we haven't even opened, this is just gonna build, you know, part of it the beginnings of it. So I will, I'll kind of uh, speed through this. You know, not too fast, but fast enough. But I'm definitely gonna slow down if I see anything interesting and, you know, share that with you guys. It's pretty much how I do all of my builds. I try to just kind of go through them without 
too much too much talking. It's like more action, less talking. But definitely want to show you guys something that I find interesting if I see it. So I mean just kind of glancing at all these parts, I'm I'm only seeing one part that looks kind of rare. And I should probably pull up the part inventory while we're sitting here and um, see if it is rare at all. And I'll look it up when we get there too. Definitely going pretty fast so far. It's more or less just stacking bricks. Nothing, um, nothing out of the ordinary. Kind of has a cool little underbody, plain underbody look already. You can kind of see the, the form of it coming together. So this is the rarish piece that I was talking about. It's kind of this, this panel or this, this flag. Let me, um, I have my brick set open. Let me go down to my sets. There it is. Parts. And this is only in two sets. So it is pretty rare. It's only in this set and the Battle for Ninjago City, which is also a 2014 set. So both these sets came out in 2014. So it's a brand new piece for 2014. Um, let me see if it's been released in any other colors. Yes, it is in light bluish gray and in yellow. And it's called a palette 1.5 millimeter 5 by 6 with holder. So the yellow one is in the Jedi Interceptor from 2014, which is also this year. And the light bluish gray ones are in all sets from 2014. The Nindroid Mech Dragon, which I have, which I haven't built yet. The um, Ultra Agent set, Toxicitas, Toxic Meltdown and the Milano Space Rescue for Marvel Superhero Guardians of the Galaxy. So hey, this is a brand new piece released in a couple different colors. And you can see I clip it on to these little bars and it gives you the, the look of some adjustable wings. So, not a bad little piece if you ask me. If you don't ask me, I'll tell you anyway. It's not a bad little piece. Okay. My instructions that were folded in the 
the box are driving me crazy. So every time I turn the page, the next page looks like that, it, like always flipped over. It's driving me insane. I guess I've gotten spoiled with instructions that come in with the cardboard backed surface. They just come in pristine condition. So we have a Technic axle hole in this brick. And then on the other side it has, um, let me take these off. A couple bricks with just Technic pinholes. So usually when we see that, there's, there's gonna be something attached to there that's gonna create a play feature. So keep that in mind and I will also try to keep that in mind and share with you what ends up going in those. We've got a lot of these bricks also that we're putting on here with the, the studs on the side. So that means we're gonna be attaching a lot of stuff building out this way. fragile until I get everything put on there but it's, it's getting close we are almost done with bag one in case you were wondering Building two identical little sub builds. There, there, and that's what goes on the sides. So, all these bricks that we put on there with the bricks with the studs on the side but basically there so we can take this little assembly which is just some plates and some bricks and you can turn it on its side and just attach it straight onto there so that's it for bag number one so you can see we definitely have the, um, the shape the underbody of the the airplane built. It's looking already pretty aerodynamic. It's almost like this can be a plane by itself. But we're not done. We still have bag number two to go. Here are the, whoa, almost lost one. Here are the three extra pieces from bag number one. You have an extra one of these little bandanas, an extra ninja sword, and just a goldish um, stud, one by one round stud. So let's go ahead and not waste any time and jump right into bag number two. Little bag in bag two. Scoot all the big parts to the side. And I'll dump all the smaller parts off to the other side. There we go. Now they'll be easy to find for me, you, and anybody else. All right, so we're gonna start off with a couple, a couple of the small pieces. Right off the bat. Man, there is a lot of black and red in this set. you like black and red Lego parts, get a couple of these sets. You will get plenty of them. So 
we're doing a little sub build with what I'm guessing is going to be the part that is going to connect to our little axle assembly that I showed you earlier. And now that we're to that point, I'm right. So, you can see this little assembly here has these modified plates with these little rails sticking out. And it also has this axle, this Technic axle on one side. So it's gonna go right in here. And then there's these bricks with these little rail slots in them. So the rail is gonna slide right inside that slot. And then our axle, gonna push right into that. So there we go. So the, the rails allow it to slide because it's on on these uh, tiles as well. So now we'll just have to see what that ties into to create some sort of play feature. I'm sure it'll tie into something. Alright, so let's continue on. Four one by three plates in red, of course. Now it looks like we're gonna build a a wing. You know what? I bet we're gonna build both. I'm gonna skip ahead. Yep, we're gonna do two. The instructions show just one. See, it shows kind of this little picture here saying this is what you're gonna build. But then as I flipped forward a few pages, um, where are we at here? Uh, Seriously? I just lost it. Hold on. Okay. So it shows one, and then you flip forward a few more pages, and it shows another one. The difference, though, is one's a mirrored version of it. So I'm going to go ahead and build both of them, and just put them side by side, and just build the other one the opposite of what this one is. So I'm more or less accomplishing the same thing. Now if this is too confusing to you, I can understand. Build it the way that it makes sense to you. You don't have to do it my way because it does involve a little bit of a little bit of thinking and matching them up. But, I think it saves a bunch of time. Okay. Looking good so far. No issues yet. Flip it over again. Okay. 
All right, we got them on there. Got them both done. So, the first one goes right on this turntable piece. And the other one will just be on the opposite. There we go. Now I can skip through these next couple pages and get to that point. All right, so we're caught up. And what do we do here? Let's go hold it on. Interesting. So it's interesting that this this wing is attached to a big turntable, which was this black piece right here, and then um, the the play feature is the wings are going to be able to fold or fold forward and backwards, but you can see there's a little turntable piece here, and then this little wing piece attaches to it and then attaches to the part of the, the structure that doesn't move so it more or less creates this cool little hinge not bad okay That's funny. So there's an error in these instructions. Let me show you the error. So here, it, it's showing the piece that I was just showing you attached. So you see both of them on there, just like I have on my model here. You see both of them right there and right there. But then when you go to the next page of the instructions, it's showing you how to move the, the wings in and out and you notice that the turntable is exposed and those little wing panels, those wing plates are not on there. So they're there now and now they're not. So they uh, made a printing error and forgot to show those little pieces that were put on on the previous step. It's not that uncommon. I've seen that on instruction books before where you install some pieces and then the next step or a couple steps down the, the way, the pieces that you put on are, are no longer shown on the instructions. It's just a quality control error, it happens. booster or engine air intakes There's one right there I'll build the other one now I assume and see now this next step it shows those plates on there where we put that engine booster on or that engine intake so now those are back on there so they're there they disappear and then they're back again it happens
Of course, these engine intakes are supposed to have stickers on them, which I'm not putting on. Let's see, how did that one go on? This one on like that. Okay. So that's the only blocky part of this model. You can see it's just two bricks basically hanging off the the front of the, the model. I wish that that would have been a little bit more um, aerodynamically, aerodynamically designed. That's really the only criticism I've had so far. Everything else looks pretty, pretty good. And of course, don't forget, we have the flick fire missiles. So there we go, that is it. There's only one extra piece left over from bag number two. So this is one by one black tile, I mean a uh, plate. It's a plate, it's got a stud on it. One by one black plate. That is our only extra piece from bag two. So we'll go ahead and put Kai in here. He will not fit in there with his weapon. Um, there is no control panel inside of the cockpit. He's just sitting in there. I guess he uses his magical force powers to uh, navigate this thing. And his big squishy hair is actually in the way. It's making it hard to close this cockpit. Yeah, the cockpit won't even, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm pushing down and it kind of goes back up. His big hair is in the way. So the play features are this little um, wing piece that pushes in and out. So you can use your, your hands to, to fold them forward. They go together at the same time because they're tied to that little Technic piece that we showed you. Um, and then once they're in the forward position, you have this little round brick back here that you push in. When you push it in, you see the wings then fold, fold back into kind of this triangular pattern. And then you have this more of like this you know, attack mode looking. We've got two flick fires up here, which are lame. I don't like flick fires. And then it's basically this big old ship against a uh, cyborg guy with a big gun. So that's it for this one. Um, I really like it. The only thing I don't like about it is these big blocky brick shaped air intakes. You know, it'd been cool if they would have put some bows on there and actually made a little bit more aerodynamic looking. Other than that, this is a solid, sturdy, cool looking model. I like it a lot. So tell me what you think. If you like this model, um, make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like what you've seen today. And um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, if, if you have videos you want me to watch, I'll watch them. I'll, I'll click the like button. 
I'll give you a thumbs up. You know, I know how the, the YouTube works and I assume you do too. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, String Cheese and Applesauce. And we will see you next time.